Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another awesome mental health check. Your struggle is part of your story. So celebrate every victory. Hallelujah. Guys, I am not gonna lie. It seems as though for me personally, I don't know how you guys feel about this. Of course, you can let me know in the comments, but it seems as though every single week and like i said to you guys before i've read through this whole thing but it seems as though every single week that we are dealing with a specific subject i feel like i am dealing with that subject like uh just going through some really rough patches and just walking through all of these things and now i'm just reminding you guys that I have gone through a lot of stuff already, right? So you guys already know that. But as I go through these 21 days of overcoming relational trauma, I'm not necessarily dealing with relational trauma, just the specific things like, for instance, and I'm just gonna give you an example. This week, we're talking on courage, which I will explain a little bit more to you guys in a few minutes here, but it just, it completely, and absolutely just blows my mind how God works through things in our lives. And, uh, you know, it is pretty spectacular how much he loves us and how much he wants to be in the center of everything that we do. That to me is like, wow, thank you God for loving me that much. And I hope that you guys are starting to see those things as well, that he wants to be in the center of everything that you do. He wants to help you through your difficult times, your traumas, that type of thing, and help you become whole like this teaching is called. He wants that, he loves you so much. So let's get ready for today because it's gonna be amazing so let me just remind you if you haven't subscribed yet then subscribe we would love to have you as um, part of our mental health check family um, we have been getting emails like crazy like crazy like I can almost not even keep up with all of the emails that have been coming in and uh, luckily we have a team that does stuff so that is that is a thankful thing for me because I can't even seem to keep up with all of the things. But that's neither here nor there. I am thankful, so thankful that we actually are sort of making a difference for people. And to me, that's huge because that's the whole point of what we're doing here. This is the whole point of why I feel that God even had me do this during the pandemic because we started this during the pandemic already because God said that there are a lot of people out there that are struggling with their mental health okay so so many people were struggling with their mental health during the pandemic of course but it hasn't necessarily gotten better okay so just because we're able to be out and about and stuff now we're not you know on lockdown and we're not wearing face masks and stuff like that doesn't mean that everybody's mental health is tip-top shape and everything is great because it's it hasn't been and that is the truth because I believe with everything that I am that people have not always gotten the best help okay I, I'm not speaking against any of our mental health uh, helps that there are out there because there are many and it's a lot of them are helping and m actually most of them are helping and not everybody gets the help that they require from a specific thing so why am I saying all this I'm saying this because mental health should not be a bad word there should not be a stigma on all of those things but there seems to be so in order for us to break that stigma, we need to be able to talk about things. So if you are struggling and you try one resource and it's not working for you, then try another resource. We on our mental health check um, on this YouTube channel in the description box below, we always put down many different phone numbers that you can call, many different helps that you can call, etc., etc., et because we feel it's important for you guys to have 
all the resources so that you're not saying, well, I have no help because we want to help you. We want to help you walk through what you're going through so that you can actually strive for greatness as opposed to brokenness. You don't have to be broken anymore. You can be great. And that is what we are here trying to do to help you guys is to break the stigma and help you find help that you need. Knowing that, know that uh, we at the Mental Health Check are not doctors, we're not counselors, we're not psychologists, not, none of those things are who we are but we're just regular people that have gone through mental health things. And I do have Mandy now, of course, you guys know that she has not been able to be live with us because there's been a lot of things that have happened in her life, which I'm gonna let her share with you when she comes back, but she always is right there with me. So she is my professional on that side of things because she's gone through so many different things and stuff like that and she's taking courses and all of those things so there's that now the counseling that I do have I do have some counseling but it is more of a, like a premarital type counseling what I am going off of is the things that I know about okay the things that I have done for my own mental health I have struggled with things a lot over the years but I'm telling you that having somebody like Mandy, for instance, to be able to bounce ideas off of, etc., etc., with her having taken courses and stuff like that, that is huge to me so that I can bring you guys the best that I can bring. You see what I'm saying there, right? Because you guys are important. You are so loved. You know, I love you all so much and I don't even know all of you, but I love you all because I know what it's like to struggle with mental health. And I want you guys to feel and know that you are loved by somebody. And I think that's important. We need to be validated. We need to be loved with a pure love and not a love that is wanting to take something from you because that's, that's not a pure love. That's, I don't, I don't agree with that kind of love. I agree with a love that is just going to be there for you and validate you and love you and be, let you be who you are called to be. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's what God does. That's what I try to do because I try to channel all the things that God gives me to give to you guys. All right. Okay. So I'm jumping down off my soapbox now and we're just going to get started. So again, like I said, if you haven't subscribed then subscribe, we would love to have you give us a thumbs up and yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pray and we're going to get started on week seven, I believe. Yeah. Week seven already of being whole 21 days of overcoming um, emotional or sorry, relational trauma. Hallelujah. So let's get started. So Lord, I just want to say thank you so much for every person that is watching this and that will grab this later, whatever it is. I just pray your blessings over them in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. So last week, now I'm just going to go back up to what we dealt with last week because it was pretty big. It was called compassion. It was week six and we had um, five little kind of things that we had to deal with along with our questions to ponder. I'm going to go through those really quickly with you and then we're going to get started in our week seven. So question number one was to seek and to understand. Number two was practice empathy. Number three was recognize their humanity. Number four was pray for them. And then number five was focus on our own healing. And then the questions to ponder were, what does compassion mean to you? What are the barriers to, or sorry, yeah, yeah, that's right. What are the barriers to you showing compassion to self and others? Now that was a big one, okay? So hopefully you guys have been able to go through that. If you haven't, I mean, these videos are up. So if, if, if it happens that you, 
actually going longer than the 21 days, that's okay too, because they're there for you to be able to review and go over and stuff like that, okay? The next question on questions to ponder were, do you recognize the Lord's compassion in your life? If so, how has it shown up? And then the last question was, how did you respond in the moment? So this was a pretty deep one, actually quite deep on compassion. And then the scripture was Lamentations 3.22. So today, like I said, we are on week 7 of Being Whole, 21 Days of Overcoming Relational Trauma. And we're dealing with courage today, okay? Now, I'm going to give you the scripture right now. It's Joshua 1.9. And let me read that out to you because these scriptures have been really good. And it says, I, I, I've actually quoted this scripture to you guys many many times so hopefully you guys will remember but joshua sorry joshua joshua 1 9 it says have i not commanded you be strong and of good courage do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go that to me is exciting God's just telling you that be strong and courageous because he has already given all of those things to us and that he will be right with you no matter what. So you never have to walk your walk alone because he is right there with you. That to me is one of those mic drop moments, totally a mic drop moment. All right, so let's get started. Today, week seven, courage, and it says, Courage is the ability to do something while experiencing fear and doubt. And it's true. So we have to be able to be courageous even if we don't know how to do something. This is something that I have said to my children countless times is that even if you don't know how to do something, do it anyway because the worst thing that's going to happen is that you will make a mistake and you will learn from that mistake and you will never forget those things. Do you see? That's why courage is so important. Okay, and it says it takes enormous courage to heal, which it absolutely does. We think healing is welcomed. Yep. No, we often desire relief, not healing think about that. That's pretty huge, okay? Healing requires the courage to no longer use your past to hold you hostage from your future. Again, bam, mic drop, okay? I'm going to repeat that again, okay? It says, uh, we think healing is welcomed. No, we often desire relief, not healing. Healing requires the courage to no longer use your past to hold you hostage from your future. That to me is quite huge. We as mental health advocates over here often say stuff like that is you can't leave, let your past dictate your future. You can't do that. So like for instance, you guys know, and I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but no, I have, um, one of the things that was really big in my life was that when I was like 13 years old, I was raped by three men. So that really caused a lot of trauma in my life and stuff like that. Now, if I was to walk in this and allow that to dictate my future, then I would be a victim for my whole life and I will not allow myself to be a victim. I am not a victim. I am not a rape victim, okay? I was a rape victim, but I am victorious because of Jesus Christ in my life. So I have not, I'm not letting that um, trauma dictate my future is basically it. I am trying to be courageous and let God walk with me and show me. Do I walk always in courage and courageous attitudes and stuff like that? I'm going to admit to you that I do not always walk in that and it takes me a few seconds and it's like all of a sudden in my head I will get a little thought from God that says I'm right there with you don't worry and then it reminds me that I am strong and courageous and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. Okay, do you see? 
Do you see that little pattern there that God is trying to give you so that you don't have to let your past dictate your future? I think that's huge. So this goes on to say, what do I mean? So what does this writer mean about that? It says, there is so much fear involved in letting go of our past and, and embracing our future. Our defense mechanisms have to go. The walls we put up to protect ourselves have to go. And we must now walk with hope, trust, and faith. These three are foundational for courage. Absolutely. Again, I just feel like this teaching is so good. And bam, I am living this right now. I have been struggling with a lot of things. Those of you that know that I have MS, you know that I have MS. And I have been struggling with a lot of things. And I continually say, I don't want to live in those symptoms. And I pray against them all the time. But I'm not going to lie, sometimes I allow those things to jump back into my life and I have to really push forward and just say, even if I'm struggling with a symptom or those types of things, I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm going to push forward and I'm going to believe that God is right there beside me and I am strong and courageous, just like the scripture says for today seriously it does make a difference and it makes you feel courage it makes you feel like you can accomplish things and it helps you to know that you actually can because if god is right there with me fully protecting me then i will have courage and be able to walk through all of those things just like uh the fruits of the spirit i i i say those things over myself all the time that i would have the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness the belt of truth the shoes of peace the shield of faith which is the word of god the bible and the sword of the spirit hallelujah those things are right there with you all the time if you continually stand on them with jesus christ as my rear guard i am fully protected and i can be courageous i can be strong and courageous i can do all things through christ who strengthens me that kind of stuff makes my heart just well up with joy and anticipation for what he has for me and for you if you can just live in that and believe in that that's where faith comes in guys okay so this goes on and it says when it comes to overcoming trauma courage plays a vital role in the healing process trauma can leave us feeling powerless and vulnerable but it takes courage to confront sorry confront the pain and work through the difficult emotions that arise as a result absolutely it does and that's where god can give you the courage that you need okay courage involves facing our fears and acting in the face of adversity even when it is an uncomfortable or painful okay you always know that trauma is always going to be uncomfortable and painful but we can step through it with the courage and the faith that god can pull us through all of those things and you don't have to live like that you don't have to sit in that pain or that trauma you don't have to let the past dictate your future that blows my mind it means being willing to step out of our comfort zones and to take risks in pursuit of healing and growth having courage does not mean that we will never feel afraid or uncertain, but it means that we are willing to face those feelings head on and to move forward despite them. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is so good to us and he has covered every single thing. So anything that you can think of, you could even Google that and ask what scripture goes along with it. And there are always so many scriptures that go along with all of those things. I think that that is spectacular. So this goes on to say, ultimately the purpose of courage when overcoming trauma is to help us reclaim our power and 
uh, agency to overcome the negative effects of the trauma and to move forward towards a brighter and more fulfilling future. Hallelujah. To me, that is absolutely spectacular. I'm going to be giving you guys the questions to ponder right away. So what I would like you guys to do is grab your notebook if you don't already have it with you right now. But grab it and get ready. Pause this video if you need to. But grab the notebook and your pen and stuff like that so that we can go through all of this stuff. Okay, so here are our questions to ponder. Again, remember we're from Joshua 1.9 basically telling us to be strong and courageous and that God is right there with you and he will walk with you. So all those things that you may be feeling fear of or whatever, he's going to stand there right with you and walk with you so that you don't have to feel fear. You always know that you have somebody that's got your back. Do you see what I'm saying there? I think that's spectacular. Okay, so here are the questions to ponder. Okay, what I love about courage is that it is an act Courage em emerges in the face of fear. What is your typical action when you are afraid? Okay. Now remember, this doesn't necessarily have to be your courage action. This is what you usually do. Do you fight, flight, or freeze? Or do you walk through the fear? Like what happens to you? I think it's important for you to write that down because you may already be displaying the courage that God is talking about. You may already be doing that, but if you're not, it will help you to see, oh, I need to take courage here. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, it says, how can you cultivate knowing God is with you? Okay, it's that knowing that makes room for courage. Hallelujah. Knowing that God is with you is, is exactly what makes room for you to be strong and courageous and knowing that he is right there with you. That to me is huge. Okay, so hopefully you guys have been able to write all of that down and you are walking through all of these things. Again, like I said, if you need to take longer than the 21 days and you're just going through things at your own pace, that is okay too. That is why these are all listed in order on our YouTube channel so that you can just watch them as you need to, okay? So again, I'm going to be praying right away, but I just want to remind you again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribed. We would love to have you. If you want to tickle the little bell icon that's beside that, then do that because what that does is it'll alert you every time we upload a new video, whether it's a short or a uh, an actual vlog type video like this is. We upload on Wednesdays, usually Tuesdays or Wednesdays, a short that is introducing what we're going to be doing on the Thursday and Thursday is our full vlog post that we put up, okay? So be part of that with us. We would love to have you comment below if there's anything that you need. We would love to have the ability to help you guys and if you are looking for phone numbers or a way even to contact us or whatever in the description box below we have many many different phone numbers and whatnot so let's pray so lord god we just want to say thank you for everybody that has watched this today i pray your blessing over them i pray that you would remind them to be strong and courageous because you are right there with them in jesus name Amen. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye for now.